Assalamualaikum semua So hari ni kita akan belajar Design a solution Which is design a solution We have two uh, Two way to solve the problem Which is the first one We use a pseudocode And the second one We use a flowchart So first thing Okay everyone You have to define What is the pseudocode Okay yang ni kena hafal Is a A pseudocode is a written statement of an algorithm using a semi-formal language with limited vocabulary. So, yang ni memang kena hafal untuk dapat dua markah. Okay, so today we are going uh, to learn how to convert IPO to the pseudocode. IPO or we can call as a problem analysis. In a problem analysis, we have an input, process and output. Okay, so how to convert into the pseudocode. Sudokot so start with the start or begin either one and the partner is stop for start and end for begin. And then input from IPO convert to the sudokot is become read or get or input. The process in IPO is in a statement form or in a sentence in the sudokot uh, is become a formula. And the output convert to the pseudo code, uh, we change to the word display or print. Okay, this is the general format for pseudo code. We have a start and stop, and then um, indentation a bit from start and stop. Indentation we start from the input or read. The formula for the sequence control structure or the condition for repetition and uh, selection. And for the output, we can uh, stick with the word output or change to the display or print. Okay, this is a, a notes. Okay, the partner to start and stop or begin and end. Okay, control structure. We have three types of control structure. The first one is a sequence control structure, which is sequence is a, a perform an action one after another. So step one, step two, step three, from the first step to the last step. The second control structure is a selection, which uh, selection, which is uh, which is we perform an action based on certain condition. Okay, we have maybe two option. If the first option what happen if the second option uh, another thing will happen or we have three condition maybe the first one or the second one or the third one there is a selection we have to make a choice and the third control structure is a repetition control structure which is we perform one or more action repeatedly okay repeatedly until a uh, certain condition is true Okay, anti the true, kita still still repeat. Anti condition to the false, kita akan stop. Okay, so three types of control structure. So before you answer the question, first thing, student, you have to identify what types of control structure. Either the control structure is a the first one sequence, the second one is selection, or the third one is a repetition. Okay. So today we are going to convert IPO. Uh, to the sudoku for sequence control structure. Okay, we start with example one. The program we display hello world. So hello world display. The word display is stands for output. Okay, so we have hello world. We have no process and also we have no input. So the sudoku, we start with start and stop and then after that remember indent a bit. Output in the pseudocode will change to the word display and we just put back the word hello world with double quote because hello world is a message not a value so must put the double quote and because we have no input and no process means that's it for the pseudocode for first example. Second example, the program we calculate sum of two numbers. Okay, calculate sum. Calculate sum is the uh, output statement. Okay, the so output is a sum. The process, process, which is we have to describe what we want to find out. So we want to calculate sum. 
make sure the variable is consistent sum here sum okay sum okay how to get sum here sum of two numbers so two numbers means number one and number two okay how to convert to the pseudo code okay we have start and stop and then okay output will convert into the pseudo code is become a display display sum the process in a pseudo code we change into the formula so sum equal num1 plus num2 and the input is read read num1 num2 so make sure variable consistent num1 is here num1 num2 here num2 okay if you put here num1 but here is number one is incorrect okay variable must be consistent okay next we proceed with example three the program we calculate average of three numbers okay so calculate average there is the output statement so output is average process is a calculate average or also you can write calculate average based on num1 num2 num3 also can okay so three numbers means num1 num2 num3 or number one number two number three also can or any other variable that re re that relate to the question okay how to convert into the pseudo code we have start and stop indentation don't forget to indent okay output we change uh, to the word display display average next part is a process process in the pseudo code will change into the formula so what is the formula for average average see the red word average code variable consistent is a num1 plus num2 plus num3 divide by 3 okay the formula and the input the last part input we change to read so read is num1 num2 num3 okay the variable must be consistent okay next example four the problem we calculate and display area of rectangle area of rectangle so calculate and display area so kita nak find the area so output is an area process is a calculate area or calculate area based on length and width also can and the input uh, how to get the input is the based on the formula of the area length and width okay next we want to convert into the pseudo code start and stop output become a display area next the process we change into the formula of area length times width and uh, input change into read length and width okay that's it for example four okay easy right okay next last example example five the program we calculate price of book after 10 percent discount okay so calculate price of book after 10 percent discount okay the punya statement ni agak panjang so kita consume that uh, calculate net price Walaupun dalam ni tak mention net price Tapi kita consider net price is a book after discount Or maybe you can use um, New price also can Or price after discount also can Okay uh, So output is a net price So process calculate net price And the input is price Okay Start and stop output Display Display net price Process we change into the formula what is the formula for net price okay net price is a price times 0 0.9 why 0 0.9 because 0 0.1 or 10 percent 10 percent equal to 0 0.1 is a discount okay so we have only to pay 90 percent that's why times 0 0.9 so our input is price Okay, if you notice from the example 1 into example 5 For the process, we always use the word calculate Calculate, calculate, okay So, how to write the process for sequence control structure Is to calculate output Okay, it depends on your output Kalau if your output is net price So, calculate net price Okay, the, so the, the general format That I want to advise to you How to write the process for the problem analysis Is calculate Output based on 
input for example calculate output your output is net price so calculate net price based on input price okay so you can write calculate net price based on price okay so remember that general format how to write this process for sql control structure is calculate output based on input okay okay so last question okay try this okay actually this is the passive question but on that question uh, they ask you to convert from uh, no no uh, not convert okay write the pseudo code for this problem okay so i already uh, write the problem analysis okay we read the question first nafisa live in uganda that charge 3% income income tax on her annual salary she wants to calculate the amount of tax that she needs to pay okay so in the statement we have to find out what is the types of control structure either sequence selection or repetition okay how do i know okay first uh selection selection okay anything that you have to make a choice nothing right you no need to make a choice you uh, don't need to have uh, achieve a certain condition okay uh, is it any statement they ask to repeat for a few times no right so there is a not a selection control structure because you have no choice there is not also the repetition because you no need to repeat a few process okay so this is the sequence control structure okay so on this statement, uh, we start to identify the outputs first. What you want to find out. Okay, outputs is what you want to find out. What is your objective? Okay, she wants to calculate the amount of that. So, calculate the amount of that is your output. But, please do not use the full sentence. Okay, we just take text. Straight to the point. Your output is text. Then process, remember the general format that I mentioned just now, how to write the process for the uh, sequence control structure is calculate output based on input. So calculate your output is text. So calculate text based on input you is an annual salary. So either you calculate text or you can write the process calculate text based on annual salary also can. Alright. So if you already uh, identify the problem analysis, so our input is an annual salary because you have to enter your annual salary and the computer will calculate uh, the tax based on your annual salary. Okay, input means what the user have to enter into the computer or what the computer read from the user. Okay, so we have start and stop. Output, display, tax. Process, the formula. Tax equal annual salary times 0.03. Why times 0.03? Ah, okay. Because tax is 3%. 3%. Okay. 3% means 0.03. Okay. Uh, so, make sure this question, they ask you to calculate the amount of tax. Not calculate the salary after tax. Okay. Okay. So, input change to the read read annual salary okay that's it for today okay next video we are going to convert problem analysis into the sel uh, code for selection control structure okay bye see you assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh